Hello, and welcome to Computer Cut Pro. In this training session, we're going to show you three great features within the Computer Cut Pro. The wrap feature, the optimization feature, and the outline feature. We're going to start with the wrap feature, and I'll select this window here and pull it into the cut window here, and we'll move it up here and you might notice that these toolbars over here on the left might be a little bit different than the ones that you uh, the program defaults to these are the larger icons that are more descriptive um, you might have the smaller ones in uh, in your program which the program defaults to. These were the icons that were used in the old computer cut. But uh, for these demonstrations, we're going to use the larger icons, which are much easier to use. So we'll revert back to the large icons. And we've selected the this window here. And many people like to add to the top edge of the film so that they can trim it to the top edge of the glass and file it. So the wrap feature is a great feature that will allow you to add to the top edge. So we'll click on the wrap down here and it brings up the wrap window and then up here you can put whatever wrap amount you want. Let's say 0.39 is a little bit too much so we'll say a quarter inch so we'll make it 0.25 and we'll click here and apply that amount to it and then you just simply go and put the mouse on the point where you want to start the wrap and then where you want to end the wrap and it adds a quarter inch to the top edge of the window we'll click apply and then close and as you can see here, it's added the amount to the top edge here, so you can trim it. So this is a feature that you'll also use doing the paint protection. So we'll go ahead and close this out and we'll pull up a paint protection pattern. We'll go to the recents for this Mustang here. And we'll pull up the Fastback Mustang. And let's say you want to do this front hood here. And even though we have wrapped hoods here, you might want to make it a, a little bit bigger. So we'll pull in the pull hood here and we'll move it out so we can work with it a little bit more. And again, you click on the wrap feature and you click on the spots that you want to wrap. So you start here and then and there, and then and there, and there, here, and all the way around. And it will add that amount to the edges that you've selected. Click apply and then close. And as you can see in these sections, it has added the wrap amount that you want. So we'll close this out and we'll get back to the optimization part of the program. Uh, let's say you want to do this front hood here. But you also want to do pull in the headlights and uh, maybe some uh, the door cups and the rear trunk over here and hit cut. And it's going to pull them in and it will automatically optimize them for a 40 inch roll. Uh, let's say that you don't have a 40 inch roll. Let's say you have a 30 inch roll and it'll go ahead and optimize it for a 30 inch roll, but you can even optimize it even further 
by clicking Control A, which will select all of the different pieces in here, and click the nest feature down here and it will instantly nest them for maximum use of the material for a 30 inch roll. Now anyone that's done paint protection knows that it can be really difficult to try to weed these images out. So one feature you might try and do is to throw an outline around it. So we'll go ahead and hit again hit control A and it will select all of these images here and we'll just move them out away from the front edge there and then we'll go over here and go to outline and it's going to throw a half inch outline thickness around all of these pieces in here. Now it defaults at a half inch, but you can make it any width that you want. So we'll click close. And as you can see, it's thrown a half inch outline all the way around. Now you don't have to worry. It's not going to cut here or cut there, but this makes it a lot easier to weed because all you have to do is just find one piece like right here and just pull it up and it's going to weed all of this out in very smoothly. Before you cut this, you might want to turn off the pull cut on a pull um, because it's going to take a little bit longer to cut this and you really don't need the cut on the pull on when you're cutting paint protection. So there's a quick demonstration of how you can use the wrap feature and the optimization feature and the outline feature when you're using the window tint patterns or the paint protection patterns.